I will laugh at you in private. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Whatever may come, I will always be there. I will give you my hand to hold. I will give you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. So help me God. So help me God. Now to Elisa. I, Elisa, take you up. I, Elisa, take you up. To be my husband, my partner in life, and my one true love. To be my husband, my partner in life. Partner in life. Forever in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you. I will laugh with you. And cry with you. And cry with you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Whatever may come, I will always be there. As I have given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. So help me God. So help me God. Art and Alicia will now, at this time, state their own vows to each other. First, Art. Well, the great words of uh, Adam Sandler. Uh, I want to make you smile whenever you're sad. Carry you around when you're when you're off track to sad. All I want to do is roll with you. I'll get your medicine when your tummy aches. If you'll feel fire, the furnace breaks. It would be so nice for you. I'll miss you, kiss you, give you my coat when you're cold, need you, feed you. I'll even let you hold the room open for <laughs> So let me do the dishes in our kitchen sink. Put you to bed when you have too much to drink. I can be the man who grew along with you. I want to go. Amen. Amen. <laughs> to my darling, you were the one who noticed me when no one else did. I was hidden in shadows yet and helped me bring me out of them. During our relationship, we've been through so much together, whether it's exploring museums, watching movies, going to the zoo, with some silly misadventures, and so much more. Throughout our relationship, you have helped me to shine, and most of all, you have become one of my biggest cheerleaders. You are my forever best friend, my secret keeper, and most of all, you have become the one I love with all my heart and soul. I promise you on this day to be with you in happy moments, sad moments, in between moments. Through it all, I promise to be there with you so that you are never alone. While it won't always be easy, it will never be easier with you by my side as my co-fighter, lover, and defender. Together, people call us the dream team who can develop your brains with our various knowledge. On so many topics we discuss, I am forever grateful to have you by my side. I know you are grateful to have me by yours, too. So from this day on, I will be your forever and always in game. I'm so looking forward to our next adventure together as we start our next chapter together. I love you so much, both now, forever, and always. <laughs> Another beautiful passage that we would like to read at this time is from Second uh, John chapter 4, uh, verses 7 through 12. The word of God says this, dear friends, let us continue to love one another, for love comes from God. Anyone who loves is born of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. God shows how much he loves us, or loved us by sending his only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love. It is not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. No one has ever seen God, but if we love each other, God lives in us, and his love has been brought to full expression through us. So praise God for what he's doing in your relationship. Now at this time we'll have the I do. <laughs> I made sure they both got it right. <laughs> <laughs> 
refers to art. Art that you take Alicia to be your wife. I do. Mean, do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, saving all others, and holding only unto her forever? I do. Alicia, do you take art to be your husband? I do. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, seeking all others, and holding on to him, uh, uh, on, holding on to him forever? I do. The ring is a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has not been, it has no beginning and no end. No giver, no receiver. But each is the giver and each is the receiver. And may the rings that we are going to have you give to each other always remind you of the vows that you have taken here today. First to art. Give that to you and be that to me. Repeat after me. I art take you, Alicia. I art take you, Alicia, to be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poor. For richer or poor. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. And I promise my love to you. I promise my love to you. And with this ring, and with this ring, I take you as my wife. I take you as my wife for as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Okay. Ready? I, Alicia, take you art. I, Alicia, take you art. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. And I promise my love to you. And I promise and with this ring, I take you as my husband. And with this ring, I take you to be my husband. For as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Jesus. At this time, I'm going to have a prayer. I'm going to do the prayer in two parts. I want to pray for them as a pastor, and then I want to lead a prayer to them um, that covers a lot of bases, okay? All right, please bow your heads. Holy Father, in the name of Jesus, we bow before you today. We thank you so much for this joyous occasion that you have made possible for us to participate in as human beings. We know marriage did not start with anyone except you. You created the institution of marriage so that we can truly understand the love that you have for us and have the love that we can have for one another. Thank you for Art. Thank you for Alicia. Thank you for bringing you together. Because the world has changed right before our eyes. People to read through uh, media, uh, lovely proposal, everything can be done in that way. Even the council has been done that way. And now they're together. And now they're entering into holy matrimony. We know God in heaven for marriage to succeed. You must always have your blessing, you must always have your covering, you must always have your guidance, you must always have your direction on how we should be as a husband and how we should be as a wife. And so today we want to ask your blessings on this couple. That in every way they please you in what they do. Bless Art as a husband that will truly be the covering that Alicia needs for the rest of her life. Let Alicia, as a wife, that she will truly be supportive uh, and helpful and respectful and loving for Art as a uh, wife that he needs in his life. So bless them in every way, God in heaven. Bless their going out and their coming in. Bless, bless their lying down and their rising up. In every way, just be with this couple and thank you for bringing them together. Ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please continue to uh, join me in prayer. I'd like to read a prayer that is a beautiful prayer that fits this couple very well. Lord, bless this marriage. As they begin their journey down the road of life together, bless them. We don't know what lies ahead when the road turns and bends, but help them to make the best of whatever comes their way. Help them to continue to enjoy each other as they did when they first met. Help them to realize that nothing nor no one is perfect. And to look for the good in all things and all people, including themselves. Help them to respect each other's lives 
and dislikes, opinions and beliefs, hopes and dreams, and fears even though they may not always understand them. Help them to learn from each other and to help each other to grow mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Help them to realize that no matter what happens to them, they will hold on to each other and know that things have a way of working out for the good. Help them to create for uh, our children, if you decide to bless them with children, a peaceful, stable home of love as a foundation on which they can bind their lives together. But most of all, most of all our dear Holy Father, help them to keep lit the torch of love that they now share so that by their loving example, they may pass on the light of love to their children and to their, uh, their children's children forever. Amen. I have closing comments. To make your relationship work, will take love. This is the core of your marriage, and why you are here today. It will take trust to know that in your heart, you truly want what is best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow together. It will take faith to grow. Uh, go forward together without uh, knowing exactly what the future brings. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you both have pledged to go on together today. So by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may not kiss. All right. <laughs> It's going to be a great pleasure and honor to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Art Fusco. <laughs> Amen. Let's give him a hand again. Fusco. Fusco. Okay. Come on.